Hembach live at Portland International Raceway. Out in all that uh, rain tonight, Jenny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at least it's not cold like it usually is. I know she's going to talk about all that in just a moment. But first, Josh, you have a, a look at that flooding and everything we've been seeing today. Yeah, hey, it really has been an active past 24 hours. And quite frankly, even back over the weekend where we saw the excessive rain just continue to roll its way into this first full week of the month of December. A live look now out over downtown Portland from the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to our hotel and to go Kirkland Tower camera. You can notice some of those low hanging clouds as the moisture continues to find its way to the ground, keeping that coin six weather alert alive and well today. And that will take us into tomorrow as well. A live look from downtown Portland. Portland. As those low hanging clouds continue and our temperatures sitting quite comfortable for this point in the evening and for this point in the year. The month of December doesn't typically bring us a temperature of nearly 60 degrees as we hold on to that cloud coverage and the wet weather trend through the rest of this evening. You might be able to get lucky enough to find maybe a dry spot here and there across the metro area this evening, but for the most part, the wet weather trend will take us well into the day tomorrow. And that's all thanks to this atmospheric river that keeps the flow of moisture from the coast to the Cascades. You'll notice very little snowfall with this system because of those above average temperatures by almost 20 degrees in some cases as the flow of moisture tracks all the way from the state of Hawaii up into the Pacific Northwest, a very typical atmospheric river setup for us, and that's prompting the National Weather Service to keep flood warnings in those yellow locations. That's primarily along the coastline over the coast range. That's all due to a lot of those rivers and streams seeing a surplus in the rain. It's starting to swell a lot of those banks, but the rest of us have the potential to see some minor flooding conditions as our rain gauges fill up to over an inch in Portland. But look at Tillamook, over three inches and actually managing to break a record for us out towards Astoria, smashing the old record set back in 1981 where we saw just over two inches of rain. That number will continue to climb as the moisture continues to add up this evening, taking us all the way through Wednesday evening, seeing additional rain accumulation at about two inches for Portland. Here's how it all times out. Those yellows, oranges, good indication of the heavy downpours that we expect to continue to see over the coast, over the Willamette Valley, and over the high terrain at the Cascades. It's not until we get to about Thursday that we start to see some cooler air work its way in. That's going to help to drop the snow elevation level down to about... 3,000 feet in many cases. Here it is all timed out. Wednesday still remains above 4,000 feet. It's Thursday that hits the government camp location, and that's going to be beneficial for places like Mount Hood Meadows as we've seen a big melting trend due to temperatures sitting above freezing and also seeing the high elevation rain. 52 degrees, that's where we expect to fall to tonight. Tomorrow, getting back up into the mid-50s, we keep that coin six weather alert as the winds are out of the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Hour. First day of Hanukkah, that's Thursday. We fall back to the 50s, making it feel like the month of December. Then those upper 40s return, and the wet weather takes us in the Saturday and Sunday before we finally start to dry out our skies. But a great spot to maybe spend this rainy evening is warm inside your vehicle while enjoying some Christmas lights. That's where we turn to Coin 6 Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach. It looks like you might have found a dry spot, Natasha. <laughs> yes, Josh, I did. I always find the dry spots. And you know what? This is a perfect spot because where I'm standing, it's not raining. We're getting a little bit of a break. It's not going to last very long, though, so we're just getting lucky right now. Folks are starting to stream in here at PIR, Portland International Raceway. It is the home of Winter Wonderland, benefiting the Sunshine Division. They are open, open until 10 o'clock. It is 5 to 10 during the work weekdays, so get on out here because you know what's great about PIR? You're in your car, so the weather really doesn't matter. And with the amount of rain that we've had so far, we've seen little areas of flooding not affecting the raceway at all. The part that you're driving on is unaffected. So come on down, enjoy the lights. It is so pretty out here. We're going to be out here until 630 and then heading on in to talk about more rain later on tonight on Coin 6. But look at all these gorgeous lights out here. It is so spectacular. And you know what I love about right now is that it's 59 degrees. Normally, I'm I'm bundled up head to toe shivering during these live shots. Not this time, not this time. We might even dare to do shorts and t-shirts out here, but for now, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, got a little break in the rain right now. Mm -hmm. Perfect time to go out there. Thanks, Natasha. Coming up, a recession. One